Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Hatofo Boyfriend. Last we left off, we found out the history of the world, which is apparently that the humans have all died out, with a handful still remaining. Well, that was actually a turn of events that I was not expecting. I mean, what the heck is going on? I mean, especially because we're apparently telling the story through through Ryota's perspective now. I mean, what is going on? Why is the why why is this purple now instead of blue? Why is all of this happening? I want to go back to Hiyoto dating the Hiyoko dating the birds. As strange as that was. Anyway, uh, moving on. Hyoko never came. I hope she's okay. Maybe I should try calling her. Kumara, do you have a minute? Uh, sure. We're supposed to get our print boxes today. Would you mind picking ours up? Our print box? Yep, it has all the handouts and everything. Since we don't have a council yet. Okay, it's in the faculty room, right? <clears throat> That's right. If you could have it back here before second period, please. Sure, why not? Print box, print box. Inside the faculty office is a stack of cardboard boxes. These must be the ones. This one, maybe? I pick up the box marked 2-3, and it's awfully heavy. I guess paper isn't exactly light when there's this much of it. <coughs> Oh, thank you. You were okay by yourself? It was a little heavier than expected, but I was fine. Let's take a look inside, then, just to make sure everything's there. Huh? Did you cut your wing, Riyar Kawara? Cut my... I don't think so. It's bleeding. Huh? It is. Did I scratch myself on something? It doesn't hurt at all. No. This isn't my blood. What is that? There's blood leaking through a corner of the box. I feel sick. But I reach out and open the lid anyway. Inside the box... Is... a. Uh, Human head. The eyes are glassy, but even like this, I still recognize her. She wasn't late. She was here all along. This... It can't! Okay! What?! Uh, yeah, my sentiment's exactly, Sakia. What? Look away, Kawara. Looking will only hurt you. <sighs> emergency alert. Emergency alert. We have entered a state of emergency. All students, please evacuate to the gymnasium. Repeat. We have entered. Goo goo! What is happening? Why is everything red? I don't know. Bah! Until we know what's going on, there is nothing to do but follow instructions. What are you spacing out, Felkawara? Come on. No. I, I don't want to leave Hyoka here alone. Get up! She's gone! That thing is no longer Tosaka. It can't be. Come! What the fuck just happened? That was Hiyoko's head in a box? You want to bet that Shu had something to do with it? <sighs> By the time we arrived, the gym was already crowded with students and teachers. No one seems to know what's going on, though. The gym echoes with whispered speculation. Hey, did you see the box? Yeah, you had... that, too? 
Yep. Well, the student cl the, the the class rep opened it, and I didn't see, but apparently there was a human arm in it. A human arm. <clears throat> she, 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 she was dismembered completely. Ours had half a leg. It was really gross. From the snatches of conversation I hear, it sounds like all the print boxes had pieces of a human corpse in them. Are they all pieces of Hyoko, I wonder? Nobody seems particularly concerned. Which isn't all that odd. It was grotesque, but it's not like it was a dead bird. Just some primate. Nanaki. This isn't some idiotic, disast idiotic disaster drill, is it? We're not supposed to have one until next month. Do you suppose it has something to do with that distasteful box? That was definitely Tosaka's... Bah! Won't someone explain this ridiculous state of affairs already? Yeah. Someone tell me what's going on. This is a bad dream, right? Someone wake me up. Someone! Is everyone here? This is Ichijo Mino, the headmaster. The headma- <clears throat> The headmaster? It seems we have all gathered together without panic or noise. Excellent. Unfortunately, there has been a natural disaster outside. This school is a designated evacuation site, so please remain here a little longer. Natural disaster? Nonsense. The weather is perfectly clear. Coo! Okosan felt no earthquakes. It's not like we're anywhere near a volcano or anything. I demand an explanation, Headmaster. Just what is going on outside? Does this have something to do with Tosaka Hyoko? Why have you brought us here? I repeat, there has been a... No, imbecile! What? The gymnasium erupts in whispered discussions once more. Well, that changed nothing. I still have no idea what's going on. Are you alright, Kawara? No. Um... Yes, I am. This could prove to be a very bad day for us all. Could prove to be? It already is! Koo! Mr. Nanaki! Hyoko is missing! Koo! She must have run off somewhere. Okasan will go look for her! Son, no. She's... San is an older breed, much closer to pigeons of the human era. Maybe he doesn't understand the concept of death. Trying to explain would only hurt myself. The headmaster has proven entirely unhelpful. What should we do, Nanaki? Well, we can't exactly carry on with class. I agree with San. San, let's go get Hyoko. Calm yourself, Kawara. To relinquish your sanity during a state of emergency is suicide. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Sir, we can't just leave her there like that. May I go back to the classroom just once? Well, the principal did ask us to remain here. But he didn't say we couldn't leave the gym now, did he? Hmm. I'm coming with you. As president of the Students' Council, I have a responsibility to get to the bottom of this. Thanks, Sakuya. Do not flatter yourself. I'm not doing this for you. Tosaka was foolish, loud, and had no manners or sense. But she never deserved anything like this. I swear by my blood and name as a label, I will find the one who did this. You shall be my assistant. Come, Kawara. And so I exited the gymnasium in Sakaya's majestic wake. I want to... I want to know what happened to Hyoko. Who did that to her? And why? 
can the evacuation possibly have nothing to do with her? Why wouldn't the headmaster explain anything? My head was a raging whirlpool of questions and no answers. And I did not yet know what we would find. What is this? A wall. A huge gray what had been a clear autumn sky is now blacked off by a dull gray. It's dark, almost like the sun has already gone down. A dome, rather. We appear to be shut in from above as well. What? When did they do this? And how? So, so wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so the protagonist of the game has now been thoroughly dismembered and distributed between the classes, and we don't know what the fuck happened there. And after being evacuated to the gymnasium, people emerged to find a fucking dome over the school? What the hell is going on? I don't think any of us was in full command of his faculties as we came this way. We cannot be certain that it wasn't already there. It does seem most likely that it was put in place while we were all in the gymnasium listening to the headmaster, though. He did say there was a natural disaster. Maybe this is some sort of shield? A disaster so destructive there's nothing to be done but hide under the an enormous grey blanket and wait? Maybe they didn't give the headmaster the details to avoid causing a panic? If that were the case, they would be robbing us of our rights to know why our lives are very lives are in danger. Is this really a shelter? Is there really a natural disaster? Either way, we don't know if there's a connection between what happened to Hyoko and all this. Let's go to the classroom and then tell Mr. Nanaki about the dome thing. Very well. I mean, realistically, there would be no connection. Looks like the other classes left theirs as they were as well. They are at the teacher's desks. Is everybody else planning to stay in the gym? Japan is a country full of fools who have grown lazy to too much peace. I doubt anyone else has dared to take it upon themselves to investigate this matter. We're here. The box is still where I left it. Inside is... I can't. Sakia, I'm sorry. Could you... Himph. <laughs> no matter. What is this madness? Huh? There's nothing here. <laughs> Th that can't be right. We left it right here. It's not like it got up and moved on its own, is it? Someone came and removed it while everyone was at the gym? This is life, not some third-rate mystery novel! Exactly, Sakia. Yuya! Salutations, Ryota. I see you're babysitting Sakuya. Do not throw my name about like some cheap toy mongrel! How cool! Well, I can't blame you for being tense, given the circumstances. I think he'd act like that regardless of the circumstances, Yuya. I am sorry about her. It pains me to think what happened. His expression clouds. It's strange. I've never seen him with any expression other than carefree cheerfulness before. You'd known her for a long time, right? Yes. Do you know something about all this, Yuya? Well... Most of this business is still a mystery to me, but I can at least answer the question we face right now. The whereabouts of the corpse, you mean? Yeah, that. As you said, this isn't some third-rate mystery novel. Corpses don't disappear. That's a wrong accent. And we won't be having a famous detective show up and find the culprit for us. Anyway. The other infirmary assistant, assistant and I gathered her up in the chemistry lab. The chemistry lab? Wh what for? For one, well, we couldn't just leave her scattered throughout the school, if only for the mental health of the students. That's the wrong accent, Jesus Christ. Secondly, for the autopsy. As you know, 
we have two things going on at once yet. I'm really f turning it into an English accent here, I'm sorry. The only human in the school was cut up and distributed to the rest of the school, and now there is some natural disaster happening. I imagine you're wondering if there isn't a connection between the two. We are, but we haven't found anything. What do you know? I told you, this is all a mystery to me too. I suspect that we will have an easier time investigating the murder as long as we are, oh, as long as we're still in like this, though. The doctor should be proceeding with the autopsy by now. The doctor? Why him? You don't trust him? Of course not. I, I, I don't want to think about what he might do to her. He might even have him. You suspect the doctor? Yes. Everybody knows he's a nutcase. He probably killed her for some crazy experiment. He is an expert in the field. Who else here could perform the autopsy? But... I know where you're coming from, Yota. He's not exactly the most ethically minded bird around. That's why I asked Professor Nanaki to come too. He should be there by now, if you want to go make sure. Alright. We'll go later. So... Hyoko has been gathered in the chemistry lab, and the doctor and Mr. Nanaki are examining her now. Mr. Nanaki might not be the best witness, but he's better than no one, right? We know where the corpse went, then, but why are you here? Me? I'm investigating, under my own orders, of course. Playing detective mongrel? That, and I have to make sure we didn't miss any pieces. Anyway, what are you two going to do now? Personally, I think the murder and the evacuation are almost certainly connected. I am inclined to agree. The headmaster's refusal to explain our situation makes me doubt his story in its entirety. Indeed. So, Ryota. Y yeah? I know how you feel. You want to find the one who did this to Hyoko as soon as possible, right? Yes. Dot, dot, dot. Do I click? Hyoko. Gone for a moment. And suddenly she was turned into this. Who did that to her? I'll find them. And I'll... I'm going to find the culprit. And I'll... I'll... I've never felt this emotion before. But now I feel nothing else. When I find that bird, I'll... My thoughts exactly. Unfortunately, this school is a mess, and we won't find anything by chasing after her shadow. I think we should try to solve both mysteries at once, whenever possible. Of course, the wall could just be there because of some natural disaster. That's about all I have to say. He seems pretty upset about all of this, even though they really didn't even really talk this semester. Phew. We didn't need your advice from the start. You're nothing but talk anyway, Mongol. Thanks, Yuya. We'll do our best to help. Oh, one other thing. You might want to talk to one in the, man in the maintenance office. Tell him I sent you. You may recall one as being the janitor. You mean that anti-social? Uh, you mean that anti-social cockatiel dandy everybody heard? Everybody hates? Uh, yep, him. <laughs> Don't worry, he's a good guy. He'll be able to help you, and you might find something useful in there. Well, that's it for the talky mongrel. Adieu! And that's gonna be it for this installment of Let's Play, a Doful Boyfriend. What the fuck happened? What the sh- This was a dating sim for birds! And now this, but I don't, what, I, I don't understand.